as a young citizen of India, armed with technology, knowledge and love for my nation, with the vision of transforming India into a developed nation, I am joining Shobhit University. What about you? Very good morning to all the participants from India and abroad. Soviet Institute of Engineering and Technology, Meerut, deemed to be university, and it's a center of excellence, a center for agricultural informatics and e-governance research studies, and center for agribusiness and disaster management studies. I extend greetings to the national webinar, all the participants from India and abroad who are attending today's national webinar series on doubling farmers' income by 2022, Atmanirbhar Bharat in Agriculture. This webinar is being hosted on every Thursday at 11 a.m. to uh, every Thursday at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Today is 28th April 2022. Today is the 75th edition of this webinar series. The topic is Jackfruit Informatics Network Value Chain and Needed Digital Infrastructure for Increasing Farmers' Income. Jackfruit Informatics Network Value Chain and Needed Digital Infrastructure for Increasing Farmers' Income. On behalf of the Honorable Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor, the faculty members of the university and on my behalf and as Professor Emeritus of the Chairman of the Five Centers of Excellence, Center for Agricultural Informatics, E-Govern and Research Studies, Center for Agribusiness Disaster Management Studies, and Center for Informatics Development Solutions and Application, Center for Industry 4.0, Technology Studies and Application, and Center for Health Informatics and Computing. Let me welcome Shri Patre, Global Ambassador for Jackfruit and Editor, Adike Patrika. For the benefits of the participants and the guest speaker, so far under this webinar series, the university has organized 74 webinars on various topics which are relevant for the farming community and the shareholders and stakeholders of the farming system. On the topics, role of agricultural cooperative societies and e-governance, Sir, can you put the video on? Because it's live telecast. Hello. Oh, okay. Since it's a live telecast. Blockchain technology based fishery value chain, a self contained village, a felt need of the day, spices informatics network value chain, lantern camera, a camouflaged treasure trout, smart hill agriculture. A digitalized hill agriculture value system, Mara Mobile, Mara Marketing, Integrated Mariculture, Aquaponics, and Precision Agriculture, MAPA Biofarms for Income Revolution, Smart Tribal Agriculture, Optimizing Value Chains, Digital Agri Tech, yeah, indust an Industry Perspective, Land Resources Information System in India Present and Road Ahead, Weather Decision Technologies for Increasing Farm Income. Big data in smart farming, so sustainable soil and land management for climate smart agriculture, understanding market dynamics for increasing farm income, role of technologies in mitigating crop risk, how to generate additional profit via simple, attractive approaches in farm produce, adoption of flexi rubber check, rubber check dam technology, potential benefits for farmers in rainfed and coastal agroecosystems. Realizing the economic benefits of agroforestry, optosol, organic humic solutions for increasing crop yields and quality while increasing farm income and improving soil health, closing the nutrient loop, phosphorus management in protein farming, improving nutrient use efficiency and farm productivity, artificial intelligence enabled pest management technology for agriculture crop protection without pesticides, smart poultry monitoring solutions, by agro biodiversity, intellectual property laws, agriculture and farmers' welfare, and insight into the issues for Indian agrarian economy, manufacture and application of biochar for increased soil fertility and crop productivity, sustainable integration of livestock with agriculture for farm income increase. 
role of geographical indications on improving farmers income lessons from asia pacific region dairy informatics network value chain a dairy tech dairy tech startup perspective for farmers income increase spices informatics network value chain a turmeric startup perspective for farmers income increase generating sustainable on farm income through fintech intervention nutrition sensitive agriculture pathway for increasing farmers income artificial intelligence and data analytics to ensure optimal nutrition in the soil harvested food that minimizes human disease bioenergy supply chain a business opportunity for rural enterprises and farmer produce organization tech enabling india's tech star farmers for manifold increase in productivity and income open insurance ecosystem for agricultural producers risk, risk management solution to overcome repercussions on farmers income market stability and food safety role of mass media for farmers income increase a case study from green tv extract open source digital infrastructure for the agriculture ecosystem a linux foundation project circular bioeconomy towards resilience urgent need for redefining raw materials and modified waste management policies and regulations agri tech new horizon in indian agriculture supporting of farmers for marketing will only help doubling of income by 2022 rural transformation for farmers income increase case studies from impoverished districts in maharashtra mobile enabled software as a service to solve complex supply chain challenges a case study from daily orders john tiray journey in india integrated precision agriculture solutions doubling the income of farmers through eco agri revolutions bayer's carbon farming initiative post production intervention maximizing value for farmers bayf models of revival of traditional water management systems to enable doubling of farmers income should be adopt farmers welfare as a new paradigm instead of farmers income ICT intervention in agriculture challenges and opportunities, democratizing the features of features of farming, a global experience, commercial processing of orders, next game changer in dairying, data driven agriculture and agri tech startup perspective, agri business potential in Moringa, agricultural income pathway strengthening links between agriculture activities and nutrition outcomes, technology, education, reach. research and rehabilitation for the environment cultivating dignity for farmers model village development program a case study from maharashtra market driven agriculture need for development of crop specific strategies at block level farmers collective with value addition powerful business model for income increase for small and marginal farmers lessons from operation flood for transforming agriculture and food systems sustainable food production agricultural marketing in india defects therein and remedial measures if any small scale fisheries and their contribution to rural livelihoods case study from developing countries impacting lives through livelihood promotion value chain development case study of viruthi impact model organic spices cultivation for doubling farmers income in northeastern region a value chain analysis agriculture exports management imperatives of integrating with the global value chain at the earliest agriculture value chain challenges and opportunities dairy husbandry for food security and nutritional prosperity mushroom cultivation a way towards self reliance from agriculture waste and providing nutritional food security to the nation shubhas balekar natural farming future of farming rooted in indian tradition vision 2025 agriculture and allied sectors viewpoint doubling of tribal doubling income of tribal families through value chain intervention on minor forest producer a case study for on custard apple value chain from udaipur rajasthan unnati agri internet in farm lands a key for prosperous farmers today is the 75th edition of this national webinar series we'll have the address by shri patre global ambassador for jackfruit editor adike patrika a unique canada farm magazine written by farmers for farmers and a very important topic jackfruit informatics network value chain a needed digital infrastructure for increasing farm and income wherein the author will discuss challenges and prospects in jackfruit value addition keywords dear participants please note down jackfruit 
informatics network value chain, digital infrastructure, farmer income, challenges, prospects, and value addition. Agriculture sector is the foundation of Indian economy. It largely, India is largely an agrarian agricultural country, Krishi Pradhan Desh, and a country of villages, more than 6.25 lakhs villages. And agriculture is the main source of food, employment, and income of 70 to 80 percent of the people suffering from hunger in developing countries. Farmers of India are facing multi-dimensional problems, price fluctuation, debt, and lack of infrastructure and weather. Indian farming community consists of about 14.5 crores operational holders, after which 85% are of small and marginal holding size. Farmer needs timely, location-specific, and personalized information for effective control on their production, risk, and then market their produce to identify the markets. Many national level programs such as Digital India, Make in India, Skill India, Startup India, and Stand Up India have faced operational problems and difficulties for its impact at farm level and farmer level, and that too at small and marginal farmers because of the block level offices at the uh, in rural India, they don't have any idea about such type of schemes. How they, will, how they can take to the farmers. Reforms towards agricultural systems. I would like to quote the recommendation of the doubling farmers income by 2022, in which I have been associated as the group leader for two volumes. Volume 11. Volume 11 talks about empowering the farmers through extension and knowledge extension, knowledge dissemination. Volume 12B, Digital Technology in Agriculture. This Volume 12B, Digital Technology in Agriculture, recommends seven mission mode programs for complete digitalization of agriculture, which includes smart irrigated farming, smart tribal farming, and smart rainfed farming, which also include digitalized agriculture value chain for about 400 agriculture commodities, and then integrated farm health management, including farmer's health, plant health, animal health, soil health, water health, fish health, and environmental health. Atmanirbar Bharat is a, our vision of our Honorable Prime Minister, Shri Narendra Modi, of you know making India a self-reliant nation, rested on five I's, intent, inclusion, investment, infrastructure, and innovation, and also based on five pillars, quantum jump in economy, Infrastructure, one that represents modern India, system 21st century technology driven, vibrant demography, and demand whereby the strength of our demand and supply chain should be utilized to full capacity. Atmanirvar Bharat in agriculture, under the Atmanirvar Bharat Abhiyan, the government has allocated 1.5 lakh crore booster, which includes 1 lakh crore to agriculture cooperative societies, farm producer organization, and startups for boosting farm gate infrastructure and 20000 crores for pay, you know 20000 you know 10000 crores for formalization of micro food enterprises and for following cluster based farming approaches very impressive and also government has worked you know come out with atmak amrit call led up to at 100 25 years perspective plan to take country, country as new India, and which includes the vision such as complementing the macroeconomic level growth, focus with a yeah, microeconomic level on the inclusive welfare focus, promoting digital economy, fintech, technology enabled development, energy transition, and climate action, sustainable development goals of the United Nations, and the agenda 2030. 2030 gives us the future we want. It has 17 goals and 169 targets to be achieved. In this line, today's topic is very important. Jackfruit Informatics Network value chain and needed digital infrastructure for increasing farmers' income. For the benefits of the participants, I would like to give some you know, introduction in this area. Jackfruit, a jack of all fruits, 
jack of all trade. There was a time when minor millets, jackfruit, bamboo shoot, etc. were considered as poor man's food. Realization came at the cost of health. All the poor man foods are becoming rich man's healthy diet. There are more than 100 varieties of jackfruit species and the proximity composition vary from spices to spices by season, age of the fruit, region, etc. Some varieties are good for vegetable purposes and some are good for production of value-added products. Most of the varieties are good for table fruit purpose. Report from ICAR Krishi Vigan Kedra, Dakshin Kannada, talks in its value. Top five jackfruit producing countries, according to the report published in 2016-17, are India 1.4 million tons, Bangladesh 0.92 million, million tons, Thailand 0.39 million tons, Indonesia 0.34 million tons, Nepal 0.09 million tons. Jackfruit is a tropical fruit grown in Asia, Africa, and South America. In Asia, it is normally found in tropical areas like Thailand, Malaysia, India, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. Jackfruit is also found in East Africa, as well as throughout Brazil and Caribbean nations such as Jamaica. It is considered as a large tree-grown fruit in the world with an average weight of 3.5 kg to 10 kg can reach up to 25 kg. Jackfruit is sweet in taste and has a distinguishable and nice smell. Nutrient and chemical facts of jackfruit enormous. Every part of this tree is medically beneficial, including the bark, leaves, roots, flowers, pulps, and seeds, and each of these parts has its separate qualities. Growing stages of jackfruit also differ from each other and provide different therapeutic qualities. All of these facts and more to come are the reasons why jackfruit is very healthy and should be included in everyone's diet. The main nutrients and chemical facts of jackfruit that makes it the ideal fruit to look are for as follows. It is infused with diverse set of vitamins such as vitamin C and A, thiamine, niacin, riboflavin, calcium, potassium, iron, zinc, sodium, folic acid. One of the few trees rich in B-complex group vitamins as well as vitamin B6 contains phytonutrient properties such as anti-cancer, anti-hypertensity, anti-ulcer, and anti-inflammatory. Rich source of Phytonutrients and phenol phenolics contains minerals, fiber, protein, and is a free of fats and bad cholesterol. Antibacterial uh, and antiviral, uh, which is a great support to the immune system. Low in calories and 100 gram of jackfruit only contain 94 calories. Acts as a miracle healer, cancer healer, cancer healer, weight loss sugar agent. Blood pressure reducer, digestion improver, insomnia curer, uh, ins insomnia curer, diabetes friendly, eye and skin maintainer, ulcer healer, bone supporter, and nerve system booter. This is definitely not everything about jackfruit as the researchers are still being contacted for more results and discoveries of its own unique properties that will provide more solutions for Health, urgent health needs. Wood and manufacturing. Jackfruit is a multi purpose species providing food, timber, fuel, fodder, and medicinal and industrial products. Primary economic product of jackfruit is the fruit which is used both when mature and unripe. And it is termite resistant and is a superior to teak of for building furniture. And manufacture of furnitures, doors, and windows, and in roof construction. The golden yellow timber with the gold grain is used for building furniture and house construction in India. And jackfruit cultivation in India. In our country, 
major jackfruit producing states are tripura number 1 orissa number 2 assam west bengal karnataka kerala chatisgarh jharkhand madhya pradesh tamil nadu uttar pradesh andhra pradesh arunachal pradesh nagaland maharashtra himachal pradesh and as climate as climate change threatens many large groups large crops like wheat and corn scientists have turned to jackfruit a climate tough plant meaning that it is both pest and weather resistant jackfruit is safe and nutritious for most people for the most people and is very healthy and should be included in everyone's diet however anyone with an allergy to latex or birch pollen pollen should take caution when eating or handling the fruit it needs to be promoted in all vegetarian re- restaurants all over the country jackfruit needs to be promoted in all vegetarian restaurants all over the country and has unique potential to help solve hunger in the country and i would like to quote one research report titled market feasibility study for jackfruit value added products commissioned by national institute of agriculture marketing and justice k s hegde institute of management of niti trust udp karnataka in this report it recommends the report is meant to arrive at an appropriate strategy for development of jackfruit farmers and processing of value addition this report is is released in 2019 and talks about setting up of a national institute for jackfruit development major recommendation for enhanced effectiveness and all coordination of the proposed intervention and also being undertaken by institutions various institution in the country setting up of a mission jackfruit working group to improve ecosystem for cultivation and value addition on the lines of mission jackfruit proposed by government of meghalaya 5 years back an integrated approach to development of jackfruit farming community setting up of jackfruit processing units you know you know as because jackfruit is often called a miracle fruit and has got great potential for value addition more than 200 items can be prepared from jackfruits right from immature stage to well ripened stage each item has its own virtue in terms of taste preference storing quality etc therefore it is a good scope for setting up jackfruit processing unit in jackfruit growing growing areas yellow revolution jackfruit remains an an underutilized fruit species and deserves to be given the needed thrust for research and development it has a su- supply chain and logistic challenges in current scenario and it is india is the largest world largest producer of many fruits and vegetables but there is a huge gap between per capita demand and supply due to enormous wastage during post harvest storage and handling caused by improper you know you know you know improper measures improper improper bagging without crating lack of temperature controlled vehicles unavailability of cold chain facilities in various parts of country for preserving the produce along with the significant processing of the agriculture produce which results in immense loss to the nation supply chain management increases supply and demand management within and across companies a research report with respect to now my state of meghalaya it has it for the jackfruit they have adopted six you know supply chain distribution channel and this has to be digitalized if we would like to have more money in the hands of the jackfruit producing farmers supply marketing and distribution of jackfruit remains majorly unorganized owing to its to its issues right from the time of harvesting until it reaches the market for final consumption lack of a marketing chain non existent post harvesting practices nature of the fruit insufficient processing units for value addition consumer awareness therefore many startups are needed 
and they are emerging and taking up a taking up the processing of jackfruit both for indian market and export markets and when we look at the export market we have to look into the look into the legal requirements for export and also global food safety initiative such as global gap brc global standards and ifs food standard safe quality food and fscc 22000 or other industry related standards technology provider for jackfruit processing drdo central food you know technology research institute mysore and also various agricultural university their bodies that is university of agriculture science bangalore their card center kvk card kvk and all and card kvk in um, in patanandetta thiruvalla in kerala this agriculture there are two agriculture university you know you, you, you know that university of agriculture science bangalore and also indian institute of horticulture research odisha and the card kvk thiruvalla have done pioneering work on jackfruit despite jackfruit being classified as a minor pro fruit and does not have a mandate for research agri business incubator you know is established in kerala the coast institution is center of excellence in post harvest technology kerala agriculture university trichu developing jackfruit cultivation and processing through mission mode through techno incubation center meghalaya a five years to mission jackfruit meghalaya and there also there is one dpr for jackfruit and custard apple apple cluster which is you know you know it developed by partner in prosperity and indian micro enterprises development foundation delhi to establish that you know that you know the processing facilities at padero integrated tribal development agency near visakhapatnam and national agriculture innovation project 2014 also talk about a value chain for jackfruit very important and it is therefore necessary to strengthen the post harvest handling and value chain of, for jackfruit that which will not only help to overcome huge losses after harvesting but also to provide sufficient raw material to fruit processing and pharmaceutical industries today's topic is viewed by agriculture scientists research scholars farmers farmer produce organization processing industries retailers ngos smes business partners it industries startups agri tech companies i also would like to mention that that the only current issue with the jackfruit is its under utilization it has got full potential and this full potential has not been exercised there are currently not many commercial jackfruit farms in existence even though the tree itself requires little to no maintenance in view of the high opportunities this webinar will discuss emerging livelihood options and associated challenges in domestic and international marketing with the interested stakeholders to establish digitalized jackfruit value chain let us now turn to the address by shri patre global ambassador for jackfruit the title conferred by jackfruit promotion council of kerala and editor of a very important form magazine adike patrika which is written by farmer for farmers on the very important topic jackfruit informatics network value chain a needed digital infrastructure for increasing farmers income today's topic will motivate and galvanize the participants watching over telecast through facebook.com so with university india youtube.com oblique sovit university in or linkedin.com oblique company oblique sovit as university for establishing jackfruit informatics network value chain through agri tech startup in these 16 leading jackfruit producing states at gram panchayat level to promote and sustain vocal for local to make it global let us unlock the opportunities in india at the earliest that is to unlock all the potential value that connectivity holds for agriculture today's talk our guest speaker will emphasize 
and why jackfruit is so late to click? Why is a pre-processing center a must? Why is the frozen jackfruit an untapped marketing segment? Need for lifting jackfruit from footpath and establishing minimal processing unit, processing company. Jackfruit needs to be promoted at, in all vegetarian restaurants over the country and has unique potential to help solve hunger in the country. Let me introduce the guest speaker to the audience, Mr. Manish. Shri Patre is a farmer by profession, a journalist by obsession. Very good. Shri Patre is a farmer by profession, a journalist by obsession. Since 15 years, he is jealously, jealously, jealously documenting positive information about the neglected jackfruit from all over the world. This ex exclusive information he has used to inspire our countrymen through his writing in Canada and English. Under his editorship, a unique Canada for magazine, Adike Patrika is running in 34th year. Adhika Patrika's effort to continuously bring forth positive aspects of jackfruit has created a new interest in the cursed fruit among farmers as well as administration and development officials. So far in Kerala, Karnataka, Goa, and Maharashtra, he has given more than 100 presentations on jackfruit development. Years ago, he was invited to Hawaii Tropical Fruit Growers to give a presentation on jackfruit. So far, Adhika Patrike has brought out 34 cover stories on jackfruit. Except Thailand and Cambodia, Adhika Patrike has covered all jackfruit growing countries of the world. It has given a picture of jackfruit scenario in Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Philippines, Mexico, Indonesia, and even in US about the lack Jack, uh, La Jaka Mobile, the jackfruit uh, trek run by a woman. Sri, along with friends, has Go, gone on study tours to Sri Lanka, Maharashtra's Vidarpa and Kudal, where from they have brought a lot, brought in lots of hands, hands-on information. All the collectors' issues that have made many activists and academic groups in Karnataka to sit and think more seriously about this neglected fruit. Shri Patre is a senior contributor to National English Magazine Civil Society. He has written three cover stories and numerous development features on civil society, highlighting Adhika Patrika's sustained efforts to bring back the status of the cursed fruit. Sri has written two books on jackfruit, one in Canada, one in English. And a couple of years ago, he has been conferred the title of Global Ambassador for Jackfruit by Jackfruit Promotion Council of Kerala. Apart from publishing consistently, focusing fruit's great potential to support livelihood, Atika Patrika acted as one window, acted as one window information system, acted as one window information system on jackfruit for the country, and also facilitated called the KVK Patanatita to conduct the first jackfruit seminar, Panasam 2009. Shri Patri, Patri is an admin of popular Arunmula WhatsApp group that is a global in nature. He has participated in many webinars and jackfruit. With this, I welcome Shri Patreji to participate in the national webinar series in Doubling Farmers Income by 2022 to address on this topic, jackfruit informatics network value chain and needed digital infrastructure for increasing farmers income in view of the its own problem of supply chain challenges and opportunities. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Professor Mani, uh, Moni, and you have given a wonderful introduction uh, wherein I can, you know, um, put my thoughts and observations very nicely you know, to add on. Uh, very good morning, all of you friends from India and all over the world and, uh, you know, regular followers of show programs. Jackfruit uh, is a pride of the country, but unfortunately, it is a very very highly under researched fruit and only of late say about in the last one decade it has sta slowly started getting uh, its due uh, this is the picture you are seeing is uh, you know in the whole of india 
it is kerala which has gone a little bit ahead of all other states and have done, has been doing some wonderful uh, experimentation and uh, interestingly there is a um, movement on jackfruit going on maybe in the last 10 years uh, uh, kerala must have conducted uh, say about uh, 100 jack festivals which uh, was a springboard for the jackfruit to get its uh, you know deserving place next slide please can we move on the next sir? next slide yeah you know there are if you look at the world scenario there are many many countries which have gone far far ahead in jackfruit development and unfortunately we in india are lagging far behind uh, there are reasons for that also i will come to that later uh, you know uh, vietnam malaysia thailand indonesia sri lanka philippines are all countries which have gone far ahead this is a picture you are seeing from sri lanka you know sri lanka it is a uh, religious tree it is a godly tree and uh, cutting uh, jackfruit tree is an offense uh, you uh, the offender can be even jailed whatever restrictions are there for cutting a sandalwood tree in india is there for cutting jackfruit tree and uh, at, uh, there was a movement uh, say about uh, a decade ago uh, and the gentleman who has had 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 that uh, movement called uh, you know very uh, Kos, called kos mama uh, sh sh the late arthur dias he used to say one he has one line message for all the people if you don't want to be hunger plant jackfruit grow jackfruit and today jackfruit uh, the sri lanka has uh, uh, done many uh, you know uh, advances uh, it is the uh, number one country as far as tender jackfruit is brining is concerned and uh, a good number of uh, companies are making jackfruit brines and also brine jackfruit tender jackfruit and also the curries the traditional curries are commercialized what you see in the picture in the top you know there are uh, seven jars tins and the one of the simplest uh, product on the topmost layer on the right hand side is uh, you know preserved jackfruit seed a little bit of brining is there and it has also has a good uh, you know market unfortunately let me tell you no jackfruit growing country so far has been uh, able to do uh, proper justice to jack seed jack seed a wonderful resource is still being wasted in many many countries it is not a it is not a few truck loads mountains of jackfruit seed is being wasted next slide please yeah this is uh, from sri lanka sri lanka you know in jackfruit value addition that is minimal processing of tender jackfruit especially tender and raw jackfruit as far as uh, ripe jackfruit is concerned sri lanka is a little bit behind you know the uh, value addition of ripe jackfruit is a, in back seat but you know as far as vegetable jackfruit is concerned as far as tender jackfruit is concerned sri lanka has done much much advances Uh, this is a family a very poor family that the horticulture department is giving training on minimal processing of tender jackfruit and an estimated 40% of tender jackfruit is uh, being uh, uh, you know sold as pre cut fresh cut jackfruit a few, uh, an estimated 5000 people are eking out their livelihood from fresh cut jackfruit either like this or in push carts uh, you know you, you go to any vegetable shop or a supermarket or the wholesale market uh, this in jackfruit season which runs to in some of the places up to colombo and all maybe 9 months and if you with the, if you view with the uh, very if you vigorously start hunting you may get it almost around the year so these families they uh, they market uh, you know minimally processed jackfruit almost 9 uh, months a year in the four uh, almost four, uh, you know in the evening four o'clock they start the processing no much machineries more, more of manual work they keep the packets ready by night and early morning they are dispatched next slide please 
so uh, this is how you know ready to cook it has a tremendous potential we brought the mantra ready to cook jackfruit from sri lanka and share the information to many kvks and like minded people and published a number of stories unfortunately even till now this ready to cook jackfruit especially uh, vegetable jackfruit or uh, ready to eat jackfruit also th that is ripe jackfruit unfortunately both these enterprises have not taken uh, you know they, they haven't turned into reality yet uh, but you know it will need some more efforts but once uh, the, some models are created no doubt people will uh, start doing that right now there are some indications in bangalore uh, one uh, firm is uh, uh, doing uh, this ready to cook uh, jackfruit and they are selling and by next year they are uh, hopeful that they will be able to supply this ready to cook jackfruit in this form around the year next slide please yeah the question is why jackfruit has uh, uh, professor moni also indicated why jackfruit has not clicked so far one simple reason is that we indians have learned to see jackfruit as a commercial from the commercial angle very recently and above all there is inferiority complex about jackfruit in many of the places especially in the produ in producing areas of uh, south india go to konkan go to good uh, villages of karnataka and kerala you know people somehow uh, there is a social stigma people don't think that it is fit to you know exhibit jackfruit and uh, tell that i like jackfruit and all that and at one time maybe a few decades ago in kerala they were putting boards in front of jackfruit tree tree saying that anybody can harvest jackfruit from this tree but kerala probably is the first state to shed all of its inferiority complex and barge ahead with a little bit of experimentation of uh, you know marketing jackfruit commercialization of jackfruit and reducing the jackfruit waste and the government has uh, you know uh, announced uh, jackfruit as a uh, you know its uh, its official fruit but unfortunately not much programs are followed up but slowly they are coming but kerala must be having not less than small and big put together not less than 100 industries uh, when i say industries all these industries don't uh, they, you know cater to the mainstream market a good number or the lion share are content uh, in selling uh, in either in jack festivals exhibitions a very local market and and quality wise you know they don't have the hunger they don't have that consciousness to build up the you know quality then maybe you know branding and then uh, shelf life and other issues are becomes non issues when you sell to directly you know in small places in exhibitions but uh, there are a few hand counts of companies in kerala uh, we will come to that later this is a sri lankan minimal processing unit run by a teacher school teacher and you see the the different products from left hand side tender jackfruit up to the right hand side all i always maintain i always keep pointing keep pointing out jackfruit has five raw materials in one the first one is tender jackfruit uh, the or baby jackfruit or the people call different names in different places uh, that is used as a vegetable and this next one is a slightly grown tender jackfruit wherein the seeds are not firm seeds are seeds are still a little bit flexible and sweety and has a little bit hard cover this is also uh, you know used as a vegetable and the third one mature unripe this one is used uh, for uh, you know in as a vegetable in curries in kerala and elsewhere and also to uh, for industries like making papad and especially namkeen chips and the number 4 is the ripe jackfruit which the only version which we use as for table purpose and the number 5 is jack seed we have a you know good amount of jack seed inside you know the whole fruit and the jack seed can be used as a vegetable in sri lanka go to any shop any vegetable shop they will be having jack seed and kerala is slowly learning the lessons in kerala southern parts of kerala say ernakulam district and neighboring districts in 3 months of jackfruit off season say anything from october november december or september october november at that time uh, this jack seed appears in jack in uh, local jack i mean vegetable shops and that commands a good price 60 70 rupees and the very shrewd kerala consumer 
he should be knowing why he should pay 70 80 rupees for jackfruit it's very healthy and it has many nutraceutical and uh, medicinal values as well next slide please yeah this is this is what uh, this is the um, one which have high very high potential you know uh, minimal processing of tender jackfruit making ready to cook jackfruit it has very high potential not only in south india but in north india also the dividing line between south and north in north for northern people our brothers uh, jackfruit is only a tender jackfruit for them jackfruit is only a sabji but if you come to south you know we use jackfruit in all different you uh, know uh, its maturities and we make curries you uh, know in, uh, in uh, all the different stages but ready to cook jackfruit is as uh, jackfruit has a good taste and of of late it has earned a reputation of dummy meat a veg meat it is not only the west it don't think that it's only a western concept even in north india in bengali language there is a phrase called gach pata gach pata means tree born goat so in off season especially in west bengal and all that the price of tender jackfruit goes very high very high to the level of 100 130 rupees per kg and you know the vendor simply cut and make it ready for cooking and give but how about bringing it to the organized sector why can't we produce this very uh, you know hygienic commercial very professional uh, you know ready to cook jackfruit in small packets 200 grams 250 grams this quite possible it's a low tech low investment affair uh, which needs uh, you know you know uh, maybe about five six people join together even in villages in a very decentralized form you can make this you can sell it through social media in uh, fiji island where there is a sizable population of indians uh, we have to learn lesson from them fiji islands you know um, uh, very poor housewives also do this activity and they earn a very good amount by selling ready to cook jackfruit we have many lessons to learn from them and you know their main vehicle is facebook through which you know they make make uh, packets ready by weekend and all that maybe their husband or son delivers it uh, so it's a very simple process even as a part time affair our people can do and this will help us to you know bring down the wastage in a very big way next slide please yeah from kerala a hopping amount of tender jackfruit is uh, being sent to north india even up to nepal border uh, say about 9 months a year and uh, on a peak days uh, you know if this will start anything from you know january up to september and in peak days around 700 tons per day goes in this uh, 16 12 or 12 to 16 ton trucks and uh, you know and unfortunately no much uh, technology is uh, applied and i don't think uh, the universities or research organizations in the country have cared much about how to reduce the wastage in this long dur you know long distance transport i am told when we went on a study tour i am in nagpur they told that uh, out of which uh, say about 8 to 10 to 12% they just throw it to the cows even before even while loading can't we re reduce this uh, and uh, the another question is for kerala which is vegetable dependent instead of sending all this tender jackfruit to elsewhere if you just minimal process and sell it in local shandies and vegetable shops you know you there will there will be two achievements once first you will be eating uh, you know jackfruit which has which doesn't have even no no gram nanograms of this pesticide it's a pesticide free vegetable and it has much much you know medicinal content you know a lot of vitamins then
internet problem to manish yes sir manish yes sir i think there is an internet problem let us wait mm. yes sir yes sir i think there is an internet problem let us wait the, our guest speaker is uh, looking into it he is addressing from a remote village in northern part of kerala Daiwai Kaathirikiga, the person you are calling has forwarded his call. Ah. Dear participants, Mr. Shri Patre, our guest speaker, had a problem of getting connected through internet. It got disconnected, and he is speaking from a remote village uh, from northern part of Kerala. And uh, since he has uh, forwarded his presentation from this uh, slide, I will continue. and as soon as he get connected 
he will join with for the discussion so the this is an article you know which has figured on the importance of right to you know the artist jack fruit you know it can make right to cook this a uh, fresh cut vegetables will can make kerala veg sufficient and jack fruit is a fruit of diversity and it's very important and uh, you know as mr patri said it that 700 tons of um, tender coke you know uh, jack fruit goes to north india and there has been a lot of um, you know long distance uh, you know loss due to logistic you know the, is taking place that and how to reduce it this is where the role of uh, uh, you know agricultural university dealing with the jack fruit post harvest management is very important to undertake and he also said it that this vegetable it has uh, does not do not have a pesticide there is no pesticide next slide please and this is an another you know ready to cook you know uh, uh, minimal pro, you know it's it's a full uh, product it is a ready to cook vegetable and ready to cook jack fruit from the brand vijay it's very important and this is that he talked about that about um, four varieties that you know tender jack fruit solid jack fruit mature unripe jack fruit ripe jack fruit and jack seed you can see the different varieties you know even for the puppet made from jack fruit you know it is it is uh, made available you can see the different varieties and with the processing industries this is what is needed in all the 16 grow major growing jack fruit growing you know states to bring in such minimal processing companies at the grassroots level this is very important next slide please this is the pulp industry you can see that how much you know this uh, you know advancement has taken place with respect to bring in value added products from jack fruit and a, a product which is never so go to the previous one hello mm. previous one it's it's very important to look into it and it gives a lot of message to the you know uh, uh, to the you know various uh, stakeholders as to how to get on to this minimal processing companies at the place of production next bottling plant pulp pulp making it's is is very impressive very impressive and uh, i think you know rather than pe people taking you know the coca cola you know and various other uh, you know uh, you know uh, you know uh, beverages that people now should start taking this is is a, you know uh, you know like a mango pulp you know jack fruit pulp is very important next it it's 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 is a different products you can see that high quality products which are there and is also that you know so hygienic and uh, it's very important very important next and also he is brought out that you know this uh, you know a company in mumbai is a natural ice cream it is you know ideal ice cream mangalore and saravana bhavan group tamil nadu and gatex ice cream ap 
and you know they are all different companies now they are bringing out different varieties of the value added products from jackfruit and uh, you know it is it is available in the market but this has to be made available throughout india that is that is more important that next please yes and uh, i think this is written in canada language i may not be able to read it out and if mr uh, you know patre would have been here it would have been very nice but uh, you know those who know the canada will be in a position to understand text It's, it's a milk of milma stall you know this in vadakara in kerala you know they have these products from their uh, you know uh, you know uh, booths which is available you know variety this is that you know jackfruit peda jackfruit peda next this is chakka variety it's it's a jackfruit halwa you know it's it's a it's a very tasty if somebody you know gets into that and i do not know you know you know why in uh, in northern part of india such type of things are not available and this that's why the jackfruit network value chain is very important you know and chakka variety is very tank you know watering you know mouth watering product you know one should eat it and it will be very tasty thank you next chakka varati chakka ada ada you know for uh, you know and chakka pastry jackfruit halwa round the year and this is 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 being produced and you can see the happiness from the producers and also the people who view it and how hygienic the industry is prop pre processing center is a must at the you know at the places of production and this is a sample that uh, Uh, how the rural youths can you know convert this uh, jackfruit industry is 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 a profitable industry and pre processing center is a must it comes under the micro food enterprises sector and this has to be promoted at very uh, very effectively at the grassroots level next jackfruit bar and uh, you know and, and another one is that you know this is um, you know and we also have got because it it is a seasonal fruit this has to be made available uh, throughout the country uh, throughout the uh, year annually so we have to get into the frozen fruit fro- frozen jackfruit industry also has to take place in a very effectively next and this is various you know promotional tours which have been undertaken by the various uh, you know associated stakeholders next whole jackfruit powder next please it, 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 it is it is a it is an another uh, you know you know place where you know the jackfruit related item in you know, it, it's a restaurant where you know jackfruit is 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 a you know uh, it's available you know as a an item to be eaten you know it is is very important
and value addition prospects of jackfruit in kerala you know it's very important he brought, he has uh, brought out lot of um, commodities and he also talked about about 100 you know small and you know small and micro enterprises are coming out and also getting into the mainstream industries and uh, this has to be you know promoted and uh, this can bring in lot of cottage industries and village level industries you know effectively in this uh, sector next jackfruit it is it's a fruit which is is this a fresh jackfruit now you know it it should be made available and appropriate uh, you know uh, you know uh, technology you know processed with appropriate technology so that throughout the year such jackfruit is made available to all the you know parts of india that it is more important next so many varieties and so many so many colorful varieties red flushed jackfruit has got a great market appeal and uh, you know it is a, it's a kabi and tubarke tubagri has considerable number of red flushed you know these two places has got this kabi and uh, tubagri has a considerable number of red flushed jackfruit it is just available and it is you can see that is very tasty See the varieties dehydrated dehydrated ripe jackfruit processing capabilities this is from another you know you know you know branch this is a frozen jackfruit. Mr. Manish, can you show the previous one? Yeah, next. Frozen jackfruit. This is an untapped marketing segment. Frozen jackfruit is an untapped marketing segment. If this is undertaken, I think, you know, this will be a, a, a product which can, this is, is a jackfruit can facilitate overcoming these, uh, you know, problems associated with the nutritional, you know, security. It's very important. Next. And his slogan is that lift the jackfruit from the footpath. It has to be processed and it's very important. Next. Minimal processing company is very, it is essential. And this gives a, 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 for a, a, a yeah, value path. This gives a value path. See the products. You know, it's available in uh, you know you know uh, normal places where people can go and vis visit and purchase.
just one minute. Mr. Mr. Patri, can you join? So many varieties, so many varieties. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. This is a dehydrated jackfruit, you know, dehydrated tender jackfruit, cutlet. Next, please. Next, please. So this is this is a, another you know important you know requirement make jackfruit and its products available around the year. It is, this is more important. This is it will be it will be a very big value chain and which needed to be promoted you know in the country and this will bring in a lot of uh, wealth generation for the jackfruit producing cultivating farmers in the country next next please next previous slide please previous slide mm. next So we can have the jackfruits widely available around the year. And uh, he makes a statement that who's, who said jackfruit is seasonal. We can make it throughout the year for which the techno appropriate technology should be made available. We have to reduce the loss which is taking place due to a long distance logistic because the 16 states which produces jackfruit, they're all in different parts of the country you know this has to reach to the place where the jackfruit is not made available so we can make it jackfruit seasonal you know the, you know it's not seasonal you can make it around the year it's very important and uh, that's what this slide talks about that next slide you see here it is 
another one is very important it is called jackfruit paradise if you go from chennai to madurai when you reaches after reaches pandurite after velupuram you can on the road you can see this it's it's a jackfruit variety is so tasty and every bus stops there on the national highway and you can purchase it and and i'm very happy that is brought out a slide on this you know uh, jackfruit paradise that this is called pandruti is called the country's jackfruit paradise next you can see that this is jackfruit season and he also brought out apart from india is brought out the jackfruit season from other countries thailand malaysia indonesia philippines vietnam laos cambodia myanmar brunei singapore and queensland and you know and various other uh, territories you know these uh, you know it's it's uh, throughout the year if appropriate value chain is uh, you know established an indian uh, food, jackfruit value chain and if it gets interfaced with the global value chain you know and this jackfruit can be made as is around the year and uh, you know and you know it is a very important aspect for overcoming the issues related to the nutritional aspect nutritional security can be brought in nutritional security can be brought in next and this is the you know the contact number of shri patri he is a man is 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 an is is a farmer and also a journalist his journal you know atike patrika it is a journal for for farmers to write and also for the farmers and uh, you know he has been championing this and he is a global ambassador and he says that you know the countdown for jackfruit development has begun with the cooperation of all of you it will speed up you know and i thank uh shri patri you know for your uh, you know you know important work which you have a journey you have taken mission you have taken and uh, and unfortunately uh, we were not in a position to have you for the last uh, 10 to 15 minutes because of the internet connectivity which is not available and uh, and and i would like to summarize that um, uh, this very important message for the participants are that uh, that the it is you know the such neglected and underutilized fruit species it is an insurance against global mal and undernutrition malnutrition and undernutrition and uh, he also talked about you know the all the slides which he has shown it is, is very important that uh, he has uh, brought out all the issues related to that uh, various challenges opportunities priorities and and so on and so forth because he has talked about that you know that you know he raised four queries why is jackfruit so late to click and and it, there is a need for pre processing center a must and why we are not in a position to you know tap the you know market you know the marketing you know frozen jackfruit marketing segment and then you know we have to you know rather than selling the jackfruit at the food path we have to take away we process it and make it available this should be made available in every restaurant and uh, it, it it is a vegan meat it is replacing these uh, you know that it has become it attained the status of you know superfood and during the covid-19 situation you know this has you know you know come up and people you know started using jackfruit you know instead of pork and beef 
and it is it's a very important fruit and then we have to have a minimal processing uh, you know company in all the places of uh, production but once again i would like to you know emphasize that that supply chain marketing chain distribution of jackfruit and so far they have been unorganized going to its issues right from the time of harvesting until it reaches the market for final consumption so we have to have a digitalized you know jackfruit value chain we have to network all the producers all the you know stakeholders processing industry and so on and so forth and we would like to bring it there are seven mission mode programs with respect to the digitalization which i would like to emphasize with respect to jackfruit is concerned that that you know one is that the digitalized agriculture how digital technology and innovation has to be brought in in jackfruit cultivation how to synergize digital india make in india skill india startup india programs for transformational reforms in the in this sector wherever it is being grown whether it is in the irrigated area rainfed area or tribal area we have to bring in you know digitalized you know jackfruit farming jackfruit value chain we should bring it and then we should also bring in digitalized agromet advisories and agricultural risk management solutions and digitalized agricultural resources information system and micro level planning for achieving smart village and smart farming with respect to jackfruit is concerned digitalized value chain that is very important and then digitalized access to inputs technology knowledge skill agriculture finance credit marketing and agri business management to the farmers and digitalized integrated water management and digitalized farm health management for reduction of farmers loss and also that all the agriculture primary you know uh, you know uh, uh, agriculture cooperative societies dealing with jackfruit you know cultivating farmers we should convert them as an value added agri startup it's very important and then you know that you know the you know that as the research report as as um, find out by national institute of agriculture marketing and the and the you know the report of um, justice case hegde institute of agriculture management you know they have talked about that uh, it's uh, you know it's 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 what is needed they said that you know there has to be a national institute for jackfruit development it's a national institute why can't we have a mission jackfruit and why why can't we have an integrated approach for development of jackfruit farming community and then jackfruit processing units and also that you know that how to undertake a low revolution these five recommendations are very important and and the, that networking with the institutions like jkv bangalore car the kvk kerala indian institute of horticulture research and uh, you know and the various institutions undertaken you know innovative you know uh, capabilities you know with respect to jackfruit value chain they have to be networked with the jackfruit cultivating farmers of this 16 states for which the statistics is available from the national horticulture board documents and i i am very happy that uh, shri patre has you know joined joined us today to participate in this program he is one of the well recognized you know expert and uh, from journalist and a farmer he has been writing the jackfruit related uh, issues for the last 34 years and uh, this has to be given a lot of importance so with this i would like to thank shri patri and 
our guest speaker today and the viewers who has been listening to his talk earlier and also listening to me with respect to the various uh, introductory remarks and also the importance of this value chain and why can't we have a center of excellence on jackfruit informatics network value chain in northern part of india in in under the center for agriculture informatics and e governance research studies and center for agri business and disaster management you know studies of the soviet institute of engineering technology and we would like to establish agri tech deep tech startups you know to strengthen jackfruit informatics network value chain in our deep university with this i thank every one of you and and when the network gets established very strong from the villages village of shri patri will have once again his talk on this international webinar series depending upon his convenience thank you very much with this we close the webinar today and we welcome you and look for your next thursday at the same time 11 am on a very important talk on once again this is you know important topic in this national webinar series on doubling farmers income by a very important you know expert dr n kumar former vice chancellor tamil nadu agriculture university thank you very much thank you